You know what time it is? It's time for episode 15, a number that I've been told before I even started ReZero. And apparently, I've never seen ReZero until I've seen episode 15. <laughs> Actually, the real ReZero starts after episode 18. Whatever, whatever. I think it's going to be an amazing episode. The amount of people on Twitch right now is literally doubled compared to what it usually is. Clearly, a lot of people are very excited for this specific episode. We saw just absolute despair at the end of last episode. The mansion got raided by the cult members. Now, I don't know if Emilia is dead, but Rem is dead. Myth and Roy popped off with such a banger that I couldn't really cry. It was more shock, if anything, with a little bit of amusement. But goddamn, this run is looking miserable. Now, I don't think it makes sense for us to reset. Like, if the checkpoint happens after this point, if Rem is already dead, that would be an insane thing to do. I think the checkpoint will be most likely back to when Emilia left the room. And Subaru, bro, you thought that he could get better, but we're still, like, in the process of rock bottom. And I think that we may actually hit rock bottom, if not even further below today's episode. Let's begin today's reaction. Ooh, Rem. Ooh. <laughs> There's the cult members. Rem took down a lot of them. But the cult members must be so strong, man. Unless they just like overwhelm them with numbers. And what's Roswell and Puck doing right now? Oh, dude, are these the kids? Wait, wait, did we see any kids in there? I think so, maybe? Is that Petra? I can't tell. <laughs> That's a beautiful That's not very nice to just leave these corpses behind like that. You should go check up on them. Where's Roswell at, bro? Like, what's Puck and Amelia up to? Like, how could this place get raided so easily when the strongest magician is here? Unless this is somehow Roswell's big crazy plan that I still can't comprehend. It's just... Are the cult members that strong? Because, like, we saw a pack of them literally leave the mansion as Subaru was walking there, and then they bowed, right? Out of respect for Subaru, because he has that witch's scent of favor from Satella, but, like... You would think that... And there's not... I don't know, Roswell fucking Ul Goa Puck fucking Ice Magic, like... Maybe I'm underestimating the cult. Or maybe there's something else going on that I don't understand. And this happened because Roswell declared publicly that he's backing Amelia. Before then, my assumption is that the cult members were not aware where Amelia was, right? So after the Royal Selection part, the intro, now that we've publicly declared, the cult's like, oh! They're in the Mather's mansion, and that's where they attacked, right? Because, like, the members probably could have attacked any time. But they chose not to until now. So either it was Roswell's public declaration, but I thought that people would already know that Roswell was backing behind the doors. Or maybe there's a specific reason why it had to happen now rather than before. <sighs> Betty, you around? That's right, where's Betty too? Betty just hiding in this library? Betty? Oh, that's serious. There's Petra. Okay. It's okay. We can return. It's okay. We can regress. I. It's, it's fine. Like, it's fucked up, but we can get over this. But there's Petra and Ram. Not my girl, Ram. Man. Petra. They gouge her eye out? Why, why did you gouge Petra's eye out? Just for fun? Like... <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not his fault though. There's no way he could have prevented this. So is this him taking upon himself as usual? Like, oh, everything is my fault because I could have stopped this. And if I happen to be with Amelia then all of this could have been prevented. So a little bit of like a selfish egotistical thing, because like there's no way you as an individual could have prevented this or even like, just like, it, it's, there's no way the fault lies on you. I want to like blame Roswell, if anything, because he made it public, he publicly declared, because like my assumption is the public declaration made the cult aware where Amelia was then attacked the mansion, but maybe that's not the case. Hairpin. 
What I know. Where's Biko at, bro? Amelia Flower! Wait. Secret. Secret passage? Okay. Amelia here? Because she's ice, right? Puck, you around? Oh, the cult members are all frozen. So this must be like... Like a secret bunker for Emilia to hide in, in case like the worst would ever happen. And everyone's like frozen here? You think Roswell's keeping his backup lollicon dojins here, maybe? Nah. Oh, that shit's cold. Okay. The fingers are gone. Yo, that's on the door. Oh, that's his leg. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're freezing to death. We're freezing to death this run. Oh, we haven't heard that in a while, huh? If you look at the... Yeah, we're freezing to death. What is that sign of the cult, right? It's, it's oddly like the Bible fish. You know, if you've ever been to church or if you read a Bible, there is this like fish sign, but there's a tail at the front and the end, as well as three dots that goes right through the middle. Is that an eye, maybe? I don't know, it kind of looks like an eye, right? I don't know, but this symbol is the cult, I guess. Puck! 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 So, hmm. so I wonder if Amelia's dead right now. Or if this is like... Remember what Amelia said in Arc 1? How she has like an ultimate trump card. But if that happens, then everyone else is dead. Is this like what that is? Like Amelia like breaking the Odo or something? And Puck, like, freezing everything? Is, is that, like, what that trump card is? But that... I don't know. Also, did Emilia have to die for that? No, no, no. Emilia didn't have to die for that trump card. But clearly, this is, like, Puck's magic and Puck's talking to us. And we're too late. <laughs> no! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! I thought we met Dark One. I thought we met Dark One, but no, no, no. We talked to Apagai before. We talked to Apagai, Rem held the stand. No, it's fine, it's fine. Could you imagine we went back to the fucking arc one, bro? Holy shit! Which honestly might not be that bad, right? It might not be that bad because like we could just redo everything and now we're well, we're so much more informed than what we need to do, but... Why the Appa guy again? Yo, this guy sus as fuck, bro. Yo, is the Appa guy Satella? Appa guy! Obviously he's not Satella. There's something up with him! Maybe not. My theory, my headcanon is that he's like a retired legendary fucking hero. But beyond that, like, I don't know. It's just a coincidence that it's just a checkpoint here. Uh, who knows? Alright, Rem's still alive. What's going on, Rem? Oh, he's in shock. Absolute shock. Oh, a little fan service for Rem. But this is not like a happy fan service, you know? Yes, I appreciate the Ram armpit, but like Subaru is like mentally breaking down now. <laughs> oh, I don't like those. I don't like those sounds. I don't like those sounds. <laughs> oh yeah, he's lost it. Oh yeah, we, we've lost it. Honestly, pretty impressive. One second. It's pretty impressive. Because he hasn't broken down like this until now. I, I, I would have fucking broken down by arc one. Like, damn, I'm surprised he held out until this moment, bro. Like, for sure, like the event, what happened last run was so fucked up. But like, bro, I would have been... <laughs> no, arc two, like, I'm not sure I could have even made it to arc two. Remember? So this is what I would do. If I was Subaru, if I was an arc one, I would have immediately joined the cult. I would have fucking lost it. I would have gone insane. And I would have somehow joined the cult and become a Grand Wizard. I don't like the look in his- Oh, there's that face, bro. There's that face, bro. I think I've seen this face before. Yup. The Subaru infamous in bed, crazy, just like in shock face. Like, look at the eyes. This dude is fucking gone. Curse? It's just mental collapse, right? Just mental breakdown? And remember, why is it more correct that it's Ferris here instead of Felix? Because Krush's pet name to Felix is Ferris. 
but other people calls him Felix. And you didn't know that. And you thought that the subs were banned, but in fact, it was you who was not sweaty enough. Oh, he is stinky. Yo, is that witch stench aura? There's a literal black smoke coming out of him right now. Like, it's, you can see it. Can only specific people detect this? Because, like, we don't know enough about what it is. I know that after each regression, it gets worse and worse, and it also shows some sort of favorableness from Satala. And the cult members respect Subaru and they bow down because of the stench. But beyond that, I don't know who can detect it. I don't know if they can smell it. Krushen, you know, Felix is not making a comment about it, but maybe they're just being uh, uh, cautious because they don't want to bring up such a taboo thing around Rem. I, I don't know. Rem smells it though. I think Biko also smells it, right? So diplomatic, so good sportsmanship from Krushen. Oh, she says Ram too? Not Roswell? He doesn't go, Roschi, Roschi. Maybe. Just like how, like in SA right now, Kirito's a vegetable and he saw Asuna and reacted. Maybe we need to like bring Subaru to Amelia and then Subaru will be like, whoa, he'll be back? Hmm. That's what I'm saying, girl. You deserve so much better. But Krush didn't see the Giga Chat Subaru that was in Arc 2 as he accepted Rem for who she is and saved everyone. That Subaru, I can definitely see why Rem would fall for that, but like, right now it's looking pretty cooked. Not like intimate. <laughs> Your behavior and the glances you cast are those of a woman he gives a man. Something that Amelia will never do to Subaru at the, up till this point, but damn Rem. Rem, you deserve so much better than this piece of shit. But fuck, Rem is just gonna stick to Subaru no matter what. Glaze! <laughs> No, I'm glad you said that, Krush. I'm glad you said that. Stockholm Syndrome. Groomed. Fucking cope. What is it, Rem? He's wonderful. Special? I mean, that's a bullshit reason. But he is special. And again, all the things that Subaru did for Rem in Arc 2. I don't know. It's, it's pretty important. Yeah, that's, the festival word was actually meant. The, special, the word special was thrown out to actually, uh, when Yulia says, like, what are you to Amelia? It's like, she's special to me. Maybe in, like, this fucking word world, like, the special is, like, a huge important thing of, like, intimacy and bonds and, I don't know, unspoken truth. What, is he lucky, though? He's, he's lucky to have Rem, but I would never want to be in a position. <laughs> so in that sense, no, but he is definitely lucky to have... Did he earn Rem in Arc 2? Yeah, I'd say so. To this extent of unconditional love, I'm not so sure. But it is an unfortunate situation that he is in, so I'm not sure if I can really call Subaru lucky. Alright, Felix. <laughs> so excited. The soundtrack goes so hard every time. Bye, Wilhelm! Wilhelm should just smack around Subaru with this fucking practice sword and make him wake up, bro. Wilhelm Gigachad. Oh! Lap pillow? Hmm. Rem peak. <laughs> Just let her have her little special moment to Subaru before we get to the mansion. Oh man, Rem. Man. Yeah, are you happy about that? Are you happy about that? 
I wonder if Rem had that moment. Remember when Ram's horn got cut off and Rem smiled and, you know, now she's like atoning and thinking that was bad. I wonder if Rem was like, my chance. He fucked up with Amelia. I wonder. There's the line. There is the line. And yes, the season, sorry, the Arc 2 Subaru, of course, right? That's the Natsuki Subaru we loved and cheered for, man. The one that we were rooting for, but that guy is not here right now. That's why it's just so fucking hard to watch. But hey, it needs to happen for a good story. No Otto this time, huh? No fog? No whale? Oh no, we said this before. Subaru said this before. Dude, it's far too quiet. And then the cult members, boom. <laughs> Ram, Ram sending signals. Ram sending signals. No! No! Our Earth Dragon! Cult members, you around? Uh. What are they gonna do? Ha! Everybody! Bow down to rank! I don't know what Subaru is in the cult because of the witch's scent! Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, rip. Demon mode already. <laughs> That's some Jackie Chan shit, bro. What? Broken part of the carriage kicked up immediately blocks the daggers. <laughs> she just fucking stomped this guy. That was a whole ass fucking Mario move. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Call members. Magic mm. They use magic to no Rem's arm! <laughs> they yoinked them! They took Subaru, bro! <laughs> what are they thinking? They're like, oh shit! This guy smells like the good good shit. He dank as fuck! Let's go like deliver him to Satella or some shit. He smells good! This is actually low-key so cute. I don't know. The absurdity of how scary and mysterious the cult members are and how cute and slice of life moment this kind of looks like as he's running away and just kind of cunk like this. It's kind of cute. That's what I'm going to too, man. Steal my reason to die to damn. Subaru is her reason to die. Rem too good. Rem is way too good for Subaru, man. <laughs> All right, where are we? Subaru? Is this the Kirito my voice actor? Naruhoto. It's Kirito. Meaning this guy is Better Goose, right? I've heard of and I do know of Better Goose thanks to anime clips and his fucking crazy fucking voice acting, but this guy is the Kirito voice actor, right? Crazy Lord Drop! You wouldn't happen to be Pride. Would you? Pride is a noun that stands for a being now. Seven deadly sins. This recurrence of the theme of pride that constantly gets in Subaru's way as he realizes that like he wants to do everything for himself. He needs to prove to others people his value, you know, his ego. But like now it's just like you wouldn't happen to be pride. So like what? Lust, envy, pride, sloth, wrath, fucking gluttony, all that sh different seven deadly sins. These are positions in the cult? I love him already. And again, I've heard his voice acting before from the clips, but it's so fucking peak. Dude, Kirito's voice actor's range is unimaginable. Like, Kirito, I think, got typecasted a lot as, like, the just default fucking, like, main character guy. But, like, his voice acting range, man. This is insane. What's your full name? Sin 
Archbishop in the Witch's Cult. Look, dude, he's breaking his back. He's breaking his fucking back. Look how far all he went down. Archbishop. Slot. Yes! He really likes saying fucking deaths at the end of everything. Okay, what do we know now? The cult has archbishops. Sin archbishop in the witch cult, which is an actual theme of the seven deadly sins, which is sloth, right? Is he sloth? Yeah. yeah. Sloth. Archbishop of sloth. So when he asked, he asked Subaru, are you pride? He's directly asking us, are you the... But not Archbishop of Pride. Maybe there's like a different thing of what a sloth is and what an Archbishop of Sloth is. But maybe it is the Archbishop of Pride. And he's asking Subaru, could you possibly be the Archbishop of Pride? Why? Due to the stench of the witch that's emanating from him, which is so fucking dank right now. Because that has to do with how loved you are by the witch, right? <laughs> Love the voice acting so far. Oh. oh, now this is a soundtrack that I imagine when the cult's gonna show up. Oh, yo, this soundtrack. I, I, I don't know. This, I have a feeling I'm gonna love this guy. Like, I love characters that have this, like, clown-like demeanor and also has, like, crazy voice acting. Like, for example, like, Laplace... Fucking like, fe uh, what's what's in the footman tier, right? In the modern Harley Quinn Alliance, like I love those guys, right? Anytime like these dudes show up and they they have such a commanding presence of the scene, right? The whole soundtrack is voice acting is so dominant. <laughs> Subaru, what you gonna do? <laughs> Subaru still vegetable mode. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> There's that line. You motherfucker, I'm gonna switch the headsets right now. I want the better soundtrack. But you motherfucker been saying this shit too. Like, oh my brain trembles. Death! So it's all reference to Better the Goose and his mannerism. He is putting on a fucking performance, man. Technical difficulty. Punch the computer and threaten if it works. I'm afraid that would end the stream if I did that. <laughs> do you think he's sober or do you think he's on something? This is not the behavior of a normal person. Maybe it's his faith towards the witch. He just super, super religious and just, you know what? No, this is what sobriety does to somebody. Yeah. This is what sobriety does to a man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that switch! Whoa! Did you just... They just appeared out of the ground! Like, they got some fucking shadow movement! I can carry it. Yeah. He's so peak. That to the goose is so fucking peak. What? He just completely switched the topic. Dragon carriage. Dragon carriage is so amazing. Diligent. Diligent is the opposite of sloth. Is it correct to say that? I'm not sure if this is a virtue. seems so fun like i would totally join the cult and be his friend bro look at the he like ha, the back angle he's almost creating a 90 degree angle backwards <laughs> sloth again his own sin right so what because the dragon's dead and can't fucking do its work anymore it's slothful and no longer diligent Oh, come on, you're being more unreasonable than fucking Amazon sweatshop. Day of the ordeal. Day or the ordeal. What is that? Has to do with the witch awakening, maybe? Yes. I think we fucked up. I think we fucked up, bro. Dude, I love how he's like, oh, yes, yes. What did you say? Are we getting fired? 
タイだお前に不栄要素を残したそれが自分に対するあなたの真摯なのかやだタイだタイだタイだタイだ This is what happens when you walk the sober life, man. You go crazy, bro. <laughs> you just beat the shit out of him in front of everybody. Because that was slothful. You should have known if Rem is, you know, alive or dead. How dare you not do your job? <laughs> Dude, they need to pay this voice actor like a different caliber. This is on a different level of voice acting right now. It is insane how good Kirito's voice acting is. The range, the dynamic range. Bro. This is so fucked, but it's so cute and funny at the same time. If she leaves, kill her. If not, bring me her head. Love, love, goodwill. Please forgive us this sloth that has led us to betray your goodwill. Maybe he's talking towards Satella right now. And that love, right? The witch's love towards Subaru is why the witch's stench is so strong. Sloth is the sin that he represents. That's interesting how he's saying forgive us for being slothful, right? Because he is the Archbishop of Sloth. And, you know, the virtue of, yeah, what's it called? Diligence was mentioned before too. Very interesting dialogue here. <laughs> What was the point of this? He just did it though, for fun. I'm looking. Mmm. Why does such a dense love hang, right? Love in this context must be the witch's scent, so abundant upon your person, right? And the reason why he even questioned if we could be pride, right? Damn, bro. I don't know. Well, the theory has to go back again. It's always going back to the seller. Subaru's desire to save Amelia is what granted his ability to get regression from Satala because Amelia is important to Satala's awakening in form of a vessel, a, a sacrifice, a key, a catalyst, something. Therefore, the witch favors Subaru is my interpretation of the story so far. But it does get worse with each regression. That's very interesting. Gospel. What is that, like a Bible? Or like cult people? Gospel exists. I don't think we have a gospel. Uh. <laughs> Subaru's not there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is so rude to better to use, bro. It's, 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 it's being so rude. My man's trying to have a fucking conversation right now. You just ignoring? <laughs> oh, there was no need for that destiny. <laughs> this is good. Well, that's interesting. Why do you pretend that your mind is broken? Subaru is actually not crazy? Is Subaru being slothful right now? By acting mind broken? Because he's so depressed? I thought he was actually mentally broken. But yeah, can we trust Betteruguz? That's another interesting thing. Maybe he's just so fucking just crazed out by Subaru as well that like he said that, but that's a very interesting point you're making. Uh Anata. Sloth. Bucket sloth. いえいえいえいえいえ。実際のところ。さてさてさて。いえいえいえいえいえ。じゃ、疑問なのですよ。こんな狂気に染まったような演技をしているのです。いや、そんな狂気に染まったような演技をしているのです。いや、そんな狂
and they can get you, they're like, hmm, so are these demons really in the room with you right now, you know? So, like, Subaru right now literally is doing that. And Bet to the Goose is saying, so are these demons really in the same room with us? Because he knows true madness, because he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly can't tell if Betugis is on the spot or if he's actually wrong and he's gaslighting already a mentally broken patient and Subaru is getting even more crazier. It could be either or and they're both funny. Straight up, both outcomes are fucking hilarious to me right now. <laughs> this is so fucked but funny. You would pay the gazes of others no heed because you're crazy, but you keep diverting Subaru kinda is being sus, or is he gatekeeping madness? I don't know. I feel so fucked up for laughing, because he's actually having a mental breakdown and crying. But what Betrikis might be saying might be correct, and I don't know anymore. So I guess to Betelgeuse, this must be so unfair. That uh, someone so pathetic and pitiful has possibly more love from the witch than Betelgeuse himself, right? This must be so unfair. Like, he devotes his entire life and cause towards Satella. Yet, his stench of the witch is not on the same level as Subaru right now. Is that what's going on? Man, I, I would straight up join a church. You know what? If Betrigus literally told me, Anata, pride at this name, I'd be like, Pride here. Yes, my letter got lost in the mail. I'm finally here. Can I have my gospel? Let's fucking join the cult. Yep, I'm on board. Fuck them humans. Anata. Oh, that was a little different pitch. He loves saying that. You really are slothful. Rem? Rem? What's the likelihood of Rem clutching here and saving Subaru? Oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Let's go, Rem. In Rosal Sama's domain without permission. And I agree, but like, I just want to believe that Rosal is like an ex cult member, or he has some sort of association with it, and this is still according to his plans or some shit. <laughs> How am I supposed to take this seriously when he just keeps delivering peak voice acting? What did you say? You should refrain from saying things that merely sound attractive. Show me your result. Did she literally just use blood here as a form of water magic ice? That was. She pierced him. The blood on her hands then got trans. That's that's like blood bending water magic, right? Yo. <laughs> We're not even attacking him, he's already bleeding. He's fighting his fingers, he loves this shit, bro. No! I think she just got... It looks like she's like floating and shit got twisted. Dude. The way that the soundtrack ended there, with him saying, my brain trembles, that's fucking cinema. No, no, no. <laughs> Even if Betrugis kills Rem, I'm willing to overlook it, because he's such a fucking peak voice actor. I love this Archbishop. Even if he does, like, 
even if he's on the wrong side, just due to his personality, I just love him. But like, ooh, Rem. Was that a name technique? Authority of Sloth. Unseen Hand. I'm gonna assume that is the skill he used just now. This. This indeed. <sighs> in action. Subaru is in action. And if he truly isn't crazy, that's what led to this. Betrugus is right. <laughs> okay, that's a bit too much gaslighting. That's crazy. You can't say you killed her. You're the one that killed her. But yes, yeah, Subaru is in action did play a part in this. <laughs> Dude, he's literally nutting. He's at his peak right now. Holy shit. Oh, we playing Twister now. Oh. You gotta do that, dude. She already did, probably. <laughs> you both do. You can't get away with his voice acting to me. How can I hate him? How can I hate him? Even all that, dude. I'm willing to overlook this because the voice acting is so peak, bro. <laughs> what do you mean, stupid again? I am overwhelmed with so many emotions right now. I don't even know how to feel. I feel like I should be sad. I should be, I should be like so depressed and sad and angry. But it's also so funny and bizarre because of Betterugus' presence. I don't even know. This is a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> Does this prove that he was not crazy? Does this prove? That he was actually faking his insanity and therefore he was slothful because he's now regained consciousness and knows what he's even angry about. I'm not sure. Ain't no way you just gave me a double chin bet to the goose right now. Ain't no way you just fucking did that to me. Rendezvous with the other fingers. More terminology that I'm not familiar with. The ordeal might. The ordeal probably is like the plan to like awaken the witch or something, though, right? Does a gospel just get spawned, find its way to you? An archbishop must have a gospel. If you want to be an archbishop of pride, you must have a gospel. This whole gospel thing and how it just like gets to a person is very interesting. Oh man, that is the fucking faith of wrath, bro. Look at that face. That was beautifully said from Betrugus, bro. The love in this context towards Subaru. Before your, fe before your feelings reached him, bro. And you just had nowhere to go. Like, damn, bro. Betrugi is just like, there's some crazy lines here and there. He's not insane. He's just performative. One, one more time. One more time. <laughs> that is fucking heavy. But hey, we finally got to meet some of the cult members, and the Archbishop, I think, fucking delivered that whole scene there from the Archbishop of Sloth. Betrugus Romani Conti Des, bro. Peak fucking performance. Yes, what he did to Rem is fucked up.
but I still love him because of how insane he is. Now what? Is he trying to kill himself by hitting his head against the ground right now? I think he is. Something's moving. Something's moving. Oh, dear. It's not Rem. Is she literally crawling Rem. while twisted? Rem. Yeah, I can say I can I can tell why you guys say Rem is best girl. I still don't think Subaru deserves this shit. Not what's happening right now, but that Rem deserves better. But her unconditional will and love for Subaru is unmatched. Rem. 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 Soundtrack is fucking hitting, man. She used her own blood there. Again, the application of the water magic to break that fucking chain off of Subaru. Her own blood. She's twisted up. She drags herself. She uses her own blood to break the bond. <laughs> And you know her feelings will never be returned because this motherfucker only looks at Amelia. Dude, Rem deserves better than this. <laughs> The soundtrack is fucking insane right now. Where are we going? To the mansion. But it's gonna be too late by the time we get there. It's already snowing. The snow is falling down, meaning that Puck probably is in that fucking ice berserk mode like last run. <laughs> That's the Live Strong guy, I think, in Arc 1. Is it him? Maybe. Live Strong guy. Remember the guy that gave us the guidance every time? More villagers, man. Don't say no. Let my head kind of be true. Read the fucking mood. This is just like when Memory of Snow, Puck's gate was overflowing, right? The Oda was overflowing and there's like snow had to happen, but this could also be again that like that trump card that Amelia is talking about. It's all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ram one the eight there. Yes. <laughs> Just saying better use over and over again. And this one after seeing Ram. Yes. Better yes. What? Even, this feels like the end of a movie. This feels like the end of ReZero right now. Like, unironically, this is just like peak cinema. Like, what the fuck? We have more of the episode left. I don't even know how to feel. It's, it, 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 it feels like the end of a movie, straight up. And like, I, I guess Amelia died. She said, rest along with my daughter, which is Amelia. Therefore, Amelia is dead. And this is what happens when Amelia is dead. Puck just says, fuck it, everything. And I 
think that's it for now. But we got more left. Dude, that whole sequence there. A fucking whole sequence there. Subaru's face here. The last better goose, bro. Bro, and then the fucking... Rest with my daughter, Emilia. So Puck cuts our head off? Or maybe we were already frozen? And then the credits start playing? Like, that's, that's crazy, bro. That's some movie shit, man. That's some, like, you know how people say it's peak cinema. It's just, like, cinema. Like, genuinely. Don't you think this is fucking cinema, man? Holy shit. How many of you fucking retards need to hear me say, fucking, it's not end yet. There's fucking more left. Shut the fuck up. What? Appa guy. Appa guy. <sighs> we can do it again, but, like, with all that shit just happened? Oh. Rena. You're alive. Hi. Hi. いいとこ悪いんだがそこで一発疲れると商売になる。It's getting worse, right? The smell is getting worse and worse. And what does that mean? Again, it's like the witch's scent, the favor. You think a gospel just gonna fucking show up on his lap now? I'm not sure, but it's getting worse. <laughs> よくない香りが強まって。良くない香り。こう。こうして捕まえといてよ。な、しょう、はい、ごめん。All that shit had happened to Rem, bro. All all this shit that fucking happened to Rem. Beyond twisted. Literally Rem playing fucking twist. But hey, again, we have her back, so it's like it's fine, but like we got to make sure this fucking never happens again. <laughs> The sloth, man. No! The sloth. We gotta overcome the sloth. So, like, what can we do, right? It was her inaction that prevented anything happening and Rem getting fucked up. So, what are we gonna do? No, sir. Yeah, the stench, right? Subaru locked in. He is locked in. But for the right reasons. A lot of wrath here. Maybe this is the run where he'll start to figure shit out. I don't know. But like that look, I wonder if he figures shit out. Like that should have been a fucking life-changing lesson that last run. But like, I like this look. It's better than, you know, the insanity look. But And the outside of madness. <sighs> That's the episode, fellas. Bro. That whole ending sequence there with the credits rolling with the soundtrack playing. Unreal. Unreal. It's just peak fucking cinema. It truly felt like the end of ReZero and it was like game over. It's over. But nah, we have another run, right? And this time we know, not really know what to do, but I'm still confused on what we can do. At the end of the day, it all has to do with Subaru reaching for help and setting his ego aside and working it out with the team. But right now, he's just trying to do everything by himself and until that gets corrected, nothing is gonna fucking change. But with such a traumatic experience in the last run, you would think that he should have this shit figured out. But the look here doesn't really inspire courage. Looks like he's, first, he's further, you know, falling into this like wrath and Maybe Subaru shouldn't be the Archbishop of Pride. Maybe he should be the Archbishop of Wrath. I'm not sure. The whole scene, yes. I think that Rem was pretty much MVP. But the other MVP of today's episode, I think is Betrugus, bro. Betrugus' entire performance, again, this is Kitty to the Black Swordsman, the main character, right? But his voice acting range is on another fucking level. It's crazy. He just commands the scene, the mannerisms he has, the little dances he does. He low-key kind of cute. And even if he did that to Rem, I don't mind because this is a fucking peak character, Archbishop of Sloth, meaning there's other Archbishops for each sin. And he asks Subaru, are you pride? So, I guess Archbishop of Pride is a position that is like empty or not has shown up yet. And there's also the mention of the 
gospel as well, right? So, oh, again, if, if I was Subaru, I would totally try to go on a run where I, like, join the cult. I would love to fucking understand the lore of the cult, different Archbishop members, the rankings, how everything would work. And honestly, it would be very helpful intel, but goddamn, man. This episode, minimum 9 out of 10. Should I say 9.5 out of 10? I don't think 10 out of 10 is every a possible thing, but this episode is fucking absolute peak. So far, there's three episodes that stand out to me in ReZero. Episode 3, Reinhardt versus Elsa. That shit was peak. Episode 7, I bawled my fucking eyes out there when Rem was torturing Subaru. That felt so fucking real. This is another one of those episodes. Episode 15, fucking peak. And you guys are going to say, <laughs> Bro thinks that he's seen real. ReZero no real fans of ReZero knows it starts at episode 18. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Fuck you. I'll see you in four days. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.